this is Brittany, and today I will show you how to use Smart Response. In this podcast, you will learn how to set up the device, create a class, create an assessment, and how to give the assessment. Open Smart Response software. In the dialog box, choose Setup Tool. Now you will choose the picture that matches your Smart Response classroom set. When finished, click OK. Students can now use Smart Response clickers to answer questions. Now open Smart Response and select Teacher Tools. You will need to create a teacher file by entering your name, school, and creating a classroom name. The classroom name appears on student clickers, so choose a name that students will be able to easily recognize. Once you're finished, click Save and save the file under My Documents. If you look up in the corner, you will see the green light which indicates you're in Anonymous Mode. Anonymous Mode allows you to enter responses to questions but doesn't store student responses. To store and analyze student responses, you will need to set up a class. The first thing you'll need to do is click on Add a Class. Create a name for the class. When you're finished, select Add. Now if you look to the left, you will see your class name. Now all we need to do is add students to your class. Now under Gradebook, select the class name you just created. Now select the Student tab. Here is where you will add student information. You will need to make sure that students receive the same clicker each time. You will need to assign each student a clicker number. In my classroom, all students are assigned a classroom number at the beginning of the year. For this, I use their classroom number for their clicker ID number. You can choose to add student information down at the bottom, or you can click up at the top and use the tab function to enter student information. In case you have a student that moves, you will need to know how to delete the student from your class. To do this, you will need to select the student. Next, press delete. Are you sure you want to delete this student? Click yes. And you will notice in your class list, the student has been removed from your class. This is the Smart Response Receiver. The receiver must be connected before students are able to use the clickers. Connect the receiver's USB connector to an available USB port in your computer. It is recommended that the receiver be mounted on a wall. However, I have my receiver on top of my teacher desk and I haven't found any issues with finding a signal. Now the next step is to program student clickers, but before we can do that, we have to start a class. To start a class, you'll need to go click the Home tab. 
and then go down and hit Start Class. If you look in the area below, you will see how many students you have signed in. You can tell if you have a weak signal or if batteries are low. As you can see, I don't have any students signed in. Once students are signed in with the clickers, the number will change. Before clickers are used the first time, each clicker will need to be programmed. First, press the power button on the student clicker. Under the menu, you will be allowed to either scan and pick a class or set up the clicker ID number. Select Scan and Pick a Class. Once a class is found, the screen will look like this. Since I've started a class, the clickers were able to find the signal. Press enter for your class name. Now you will need to set up the clicker ID number. When I set up my class in Smart Response, I gave each student a clicker ID number. Since I assigned Sarah's clicker ID number 1, I will need to enter this number on the clicker. Use the up and down arrows to find the number that matches the clicker ID number you selected for each student. This only has to be done the first time clickers are used. From now on, when students turn on the device, the information will be stored and the student's name will appear on the screen. Smart Response is compatible with other commonly used file formats, so you can easily import questions from other applications, including Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and PDF files. Here is a test I created in Microsoft Word. I will show you how easy it is to convert this into a Smart Response assessment. In Smart Response software under Teacher Tools, select Create an Assessment using Smart Notebook software. When Notebook opens, Select the Smart Response icon in the toolbar menu. Select Import Questions from a File. Choose the file type you would like to import and click Next. Now look for your file. If you can't find your file, change the file extension. You can see most of my documents are in .docx and it's only bringing up .doc. So if you change the extension, you should find the rest of your files. Select your file and then click Open. The file has been converted into a Smart Response Assessment. Each answer automatically corresponds to one of the five big and colorful buttons on the student's remote instead of the A, B, C, or D format like I used in my Word document assessment. Smart Response is unable to provide the correct answers to imported questions, so you will have to set the answers for all imported questions. To set the answers, click the thumbnail for the first question page in the Page Sorter tab. In the menu, select Response, then select Set All Answers. The Set All Answers dialog box appears. You will need to either type or select the correct answers for each question.
When finished, click Done. You can also create an assessment in notebook software. You can ask six types of questions, either individually or as question sets. Questions can be either yes or no, text answer, multiple choice, multiple answer, true or false, and questions dealing with numbers, fractions, decimals, and expressions. With the lower elementary smart response, which is called the LE clickers, you can only create true or false, yes or no, or multiple choice questions. To create an assessment in Notebook, open Notebook software and click the Smart Response icon. Under Create an Assessment heading, choose Question. Then you will need to select the type of question you would like to insert and click Next. Type your question in the space provided and click Next when finished. Select the correct answer for the question and click Finished. In this example, I will show you how to conduct an assessment from start to finish. First, open Smart Response and select Teacher Tools. Select a class for the assessment. I will select my homeroom class. Next, click Start Class. Students can now turn on their clickers. As they turn on their clickers, you will see how many students have signed on. Open your assessment in Notebook software. Select the Smart Response icon. Now select Start this assessment now. Now use the page sorter to go to the first question in the assessment. Select Start this question now. Students will now use their clickers to answer the question. Below you can keep track of how many students have answered the question. After all students have answered, you can view a pie chart of their responses. Click Stop This Question Now before going to the second question. You will repeat this process for all questions until the assessment is finished. Thanks for watching How to Use Smart Response with me, Brittany. I hope this will help you get started with using this system in your classroom. 